Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would sit down and make another video for you guys. Let's put my water first. Give you guys a forearm shot. All right, let's talk about this ketogenic diets. Um, again, let me let me make this clear, like I've done with other stuff. I have a problem with carnivore diets. I think they are literally the stupidest, most idiotic, from a scientific and nutritional perspective, the most idiotic diet anybody has ever come up with. And I want to make that clear. I do not classify ketogenic diets by default into that category. Okay. I don't have a problem with a well thought out ketogenic diet. I think it can be a valuable tool. I think it can be a very useful tool. I've used it in the past successfully. My problem is dogmatic keto. What do I mean by dogmatic keto? Automatically, if it's a ketogenic food, that it won't kill you. Butter is a health food. Okay, right? <coughs> Full stop. Every medical doctor I know who works with people on keto has repeatedly said the clients who add a bunch of butter to their food have bad blood work. That their clients who have good blood work and good lipid profiles who choose to do ketogenic diets, they don't eat a bunch of butter. All right? And when keto people say butter is a secret, no, butter is a junk food. Butter is a ketogenic equivalent of junk food. Full stop. I mean, that's an example that they're, they ignore data, they ignore all of this, they ignore common sense. Uh, bacon, processed red meats like that, highly refined red meats, uh, they're carcinogenic, they are. They're not particularly healthy. So when people literally say, I would rather eat butter or bacon than refined sugar, that it's healthier, uh, I'm sorry, you're flat wrong. You're wrong. And you're full of shit. You're ignorant. Do I think you can follow a full ketogenic diet and have great health and good blood markers? Yes, I do. It's totally possible. I've seen it done. I've done it before. It can be done. Not if you're eating a bunch of butter. See, see how that works? The other thing, if you're eating a lot of vegetables, that is one of the big take homes. Okay, that's a big one. Almost all the people who pull off a healthy ketogenic diet eat a lot of vegetables. Because ketogenic diets, like most things, are a give and take. There are pros and cons to the diet in terms of your health and your blood markers. Okay, it can do some good stuff and some bad stuff. Most of the bad stuff will be offset by eating more vegetables. See how that works? It's almost as if the statements I have previously made, that if you eat a lot of protein and you eat a lot of vegetables, the composition of the rest of your diet may not be as important as we think it is. Don't care whether it's keto, or vegan, no, I don't care. We've covered the most important basics. So we come back over, if a ketogenic diet helps you control your appetite, you are still able to get the energy you need to perform your physical activity and athletic stuff. You're not eating a bunch of processed garbage because that's the point we come over to. That's the same thing I said with vegans. A lot of vegans eat a bunch of crap and then wonder why the diet's not working. Same thing with, with uh, the keto people. You're eating a bunch of garbage. Your keto diet is bacon and butter. Don't complain when you have bad blood work. Don't complain, and you're not eating enough green vegetables. Don't complain when your A1C is high. Don't complain when you're still insulin resistant. But let's come over, what, what do we mean? Can a, vegan, can a, sorry, a ketogenic diet 
be healthy and work for body composition? Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely can. If we focus on whole foods, make sure you don't have nutritional deficiencies, you are eating a lot of vegetables. You're not dumping a bunch of refined fats and preservatives into your diet, all the nitrates and stuff. And I think that's that's the take home here. Uh, are you getting mostly, if your dairy is refined, we're talking stuff that's got cultures in it, good quality cheeses, full fat yogurts, okay? Meat, eggs, not a bunch of processed meat, but you know, meat and eggs. And then you're eating a lot of vegetables. You still realize that calories matter. Okay, I, I think that's completely viable. Now, are some people going to struggle to gain weight correctly? Possibly, in certain things. Um, but again, when people are not doing this correctly, I, again, I've seen tons of people who, who think that keto is automatically going to resolve their issues. It's not. Um, the same people who don't realize the contribution of excess saturated fat in our diet, the contribution it makes to health problems of going, oh, sugar caused all of it. No, really, it's both. It, the refined fructose and the excess saturated fat is, is the culprit for most of our problems. And when you're going to deny that they're both an issue, you're not being dogmatic. You're being ignorant. You're being dogmatic. Okay. The quality and the type of the fat matters, even with your saturated fat sources. Okay, it does matter. Right? People do understand that butter is not the same as less refined forms of dairy, the fat in it. You've stripped out the goods. You've stripped out all the protective stuff in dairy. Made a refined garbage junk food. And then wonder why your health isn't great. You know, if you really think it's better than pizza or ice cream, I don't know what to tell you. But, you know, is the, is the steak and broccoli a problem? No, absolutely not. No, if, that, if that's the foundation, if the foundation of your keto diet is steak, eggs, and lots of vegetables, have at it. As long as you're getting the energy turnover you need from there to do the things that you need to do, and no dietary deficiencies, plenty of fiber, phytonutrients, got lots of quality protein yeah perfectly viable perfectly reasonable don't be dogmatic and stupid that's the take home with any dietary approach a person chooses if it controls your inflammation controls your appetite controls water weight all this other stuff and it's viable for you go for it in the context of the other thing don't be sitting around eating a bunch of refined garbage make sure you get lots of vegetables all right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.